All right, so here's a quick tour of our 2015 G21, our precious baby that we are finally gonna upgrade. Um, but this boat has been amazing, continues to be amazing. My wife keeps asking me, why are we selling it? Um, which is a good question. But uh, anyway, this is our G21 2015. We'll just do a quick walk around tour of it. You can see that it's on a Boatmate trailer, surf pipe, underwater LEDs back here, tie downs. You can see that the hull's in really great shape. Uh, we did remove the graphics. The 2015 came standard with kind of a speckled vinyl graphic on the side, which we've removed just for a cleaner look. Spare tire, you can see upgraded rims on the, on the trailer. And it's got the trailer with the uh, front access ladder, surge brakes, and got a lockout key for the surge brakes. Um, I've driven some trucks that uh, didn't seem to deactivate the reverse surge brakes, so um, got the lockout key stored there. One thing I wanted to show here also on the trailer is the, the swing away um, hitch which uh, shortens the, the trailer length for garages, like mine, uh, quite a bit. So it's pretty easy. Pull the pin, pull this pin out, and it swings away here like that. And you can see that just shortens the trailer quite a bit, you know, barely longer than the boat itself um, to uh, save space. You can see it's got the Fulton heavy duty Trailer jack, the geared winch, and you can see it's just in, in really great condition. Uh, let me walk around to the back. We'll go up inside and take a look. Swim platform. Swim platform has the uh, optional ladder, which uh, was great for folks that may be a little older that have a harder time getting up on out of the water we don't use it a ton uh, we named our boat fun day uh, which is really appropriate since we've had so many great wonderful fun days on the boat um, not sure what we're gonna name the new boat but uh, maybe another fun day but you can see the vinyl it's in great condition Sea deck is in great condition. It's really been babied. It's got the board racks on both sides to carry a couple, a couple surfboards, a couple wakeboards. Um, and then you can see it's got the four tower speakers. I actually, actually upgraded the drivers on, on the, the tower speakers on two pair to get a little bit more throw. Although I've got the other drivers that include for whoever buys it. If you want to switch it back to be more symmetrical. And st white stitching, white, white vinyl, the black and gray accents. Pretty cool G21 emblem there. It's got the fold forward tower and the, the bimini folds flat. I can show you that. Um, while I'm up here though, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bimini. So you can kind of see that we also had our canvas, had our canvas guys add surf pockets, three surf pockets up here, which is awesome for weekend trips or Lake Powell. Can carry several surfboards. So he's got their, their got their jam. Uh, it's a button for the heated seat. So this uh, this love seat is heated, and the captain's chair is heated uh, from the control panel. You can see it's rated for 14 passengers. Um, the standard uh, uh, ballast, I think, is 2850, fully loaded. Um, we usually surf with it fully loaded. So we usually don't have a ton of people on the boat, but 
It's got the bow filler cushion you can see there. And um, it does have the air dam, the slide in air dam that is uh, in the storage compartment, but it just slides right in here. Um, it's got the battery selector, battery selector switch there. So it's nice and easy to access. It's got the big rear view mirror. Hey world. And then uh, just kind of take a quick tour of the, the link system here. Um, we got, uh, all right, so see the engine hours are 387 almost. And it's got uh, access to full zone control in the audio, which is a pretty cool setting. So you can actually, uh, now you can see the, uh, the zoom or the zone setting there. So you can adjust the audio levels for the bow, the cockpit, the dash speakers, tower speakers, and the sub. Um, so we kind of, a lot of times if we are in the cove or whatever, we'd, we'd bring the tower speakers way down so that we weren't blasting out the neighbors unnecessarily. So uh, one thing I did add was I added a, a helm control here uh, so that it's a little bit easier to access like this, the volume and the, the tracks and stuff. So when you're driving and you're trying to play DJ at the same time, uh, this just makes it a little bit easier. Um, glad I did that. Uh, so it came in really handy. Um, yeah, so everything is available here. You can see if we go to the switches, you can see um, you have access to the heater. It's got a heater with with heater tubes down here. There's a couple. Of them. You can see that here. There's two of these, so the heater kicks out and blows out heat for those cold days. Kids love that. Actually, to be honest, I love that too on cold days. You can see here's another one. And then there's one um, right here on the dash, which was nice because it kind of keeps the windshield defrosted. Um, so that's pretty nice on early and late season days. And let's see, and go down here, open this up so you can kind of get a take a look. So got two batteries. Um, so like one and two. And uh, I just replaced those batteries this last season, so they should be good to go for several more years. Um, I also added a fresh water bypass here. Um, so it makes winterizing super easy um, or just running it um, in the driveway. Instead of using a fake lake, I can actually um, hook this hose up um, either to a bucket of antifreeze and the, to winterize or just hook it right up to a garden hose and uh, run the engine here in the driveway, which is nice. Um, we just changed out the impellers on the three ballast pumps um, two seasons ago. So, and when we changed them out, they were brand new, really. I don't even know if it was worth it, but we did. Um, so that's that. Um, I'm gonna open this up, even though we got a lot of towels and stuff stored in here. This is tons of storage in here. This is where the trash can is. You can see that um, accessible from here, which is arguably maybe my wife's favorite feature, but um, it also kept the boat tidy. But also kind of show you the audio system Pretty much cranks there's four separate amps polk amps um, and that's for the zone control so you can see that and you can see that we actually moved the sub to a box which really amps up the base quite a bit so just tons and tons of storage uh, in here great thing about the g is all the ballast tanks are are down below the deck so uh you know, even with full ballasts, you have access to all this storage. Um, it's kind of a nice feature here. This folds up um, to a seat. Of course, just like all the G's, you've got this convertible seat. It sits up here and now you've got everybody kind of watching, watching what's going on behind the boat, which is fun. Um, quick access to transmission and stuff down there so let's take a look at the engine um, speaking of cavernous storage you see got a couple bags of weights there but um, you can see that's the uh, the air slide in air dam on that side you can see storage We've got a little holder for all of our sunscreen back there you can see a little bit more lead 
actually I ran it with about 300 pounds of lead just to kind of keep the boat level. Um, all right, so here's, here's the engine. Um, super, super powerful. It's the XR550 supercharged engine. Um, you'll never want for more horsepower, I can tell you that. We've had uh, 14 people on the boat, full ballasts, and whether it's wakeboarding or, or surfing, never, never uh, had a struggle to get out of the hole. So um, super easy to work on. I winterize it and change the oil uh, myself. It's pretty easy. Um, there's videos out there to kind of show you how to do it, but you can see with, again, all the storage is down below the deck. So you have access to all that storage, even with full ballasts. So um, these little walls come sliding out so you can get easy access on both sides of the engine, uh, which is pretty cool. So. All right, so I'm just gonna show you how to fold up the bimini and fold the tower down. Uh, before we do that, we're gonna hook the uh, rear view mirror up. And you just hook these two close. Fold up side. Then there's a bimini cover here. See if it kind of goes over it. it keeps it all together while you're driving down the road. And actually, that's how you drive down the road, pretty much like that. Um, just kind of keeps it all, all together once these are strapped in place. Um, but I'm going to show you how to kind of hold the tower down. So this, then the top goes up, which is pretty high. And then there's two releases over here. And there's uh, one on each side, and pull this up. And then it's, it's assisted, so it's not too heavy. You just kind of, kind of gently lower it down. And that's all there is to it. Back it right into the garage. All right, so that's a quick tour of our 2015 G21 with the supercharged XR550 engine. It's been, we bought it brand new. We're the only owners. Um, actually, our dealer bought it for himself and then decided he wanted a 23 and, and we uh, bought it from him brand new. And like I said, we've been babying it and keeping it in the garage its whole its whole life so anyway hope uh if you have any questions about the boat reach out and happy to uh answer your questions or we could set up a time to take a look at it thank you